Hi, this is Shubham from Monesu, and today in this podcast we are gonna discuss five must dos for financial freedom. Over here we are gonna discuss about five important steps which you can do regularly, consistently to achieve a financial freedom. If you want to read the full article, then the link of the article provided is in description. So let's start. It has been a 75 years since India got independence from a British rule. When we look at India at a pre-independence era, and now we will. see a personal finance landscape in a country have evolved tremendously more people are realizing that financial independence is the only part for healthy and wealthy life where health is taken care of through a physical exercise meditation and everything the financial health also need to taken care of so here it should come from honest view discussing five do's for a financial freedom but before that let's discuss this shift in personal finance landscape over the year many indians have shifted or are shifting from investing heavily in fixed income products and most importantly gold to other classes of products such as stocks mutual fund and etf that have an reputation of a being lower risk as compared to the actually taking in a business activity in fact talking about the last year solely according to sbi research report the number of retail investor in a stock market increased by 142 lakhs in a financial year 2021 compared to the previous financial year while there can be a various triggers that is decline in interest rates seems to be a major one further as per the sebi data financial year 2021 saw investor opening 1.42 crores new demat up nearly thrice 49 lakh accounts that were open in financial year 2021 for the comparative purpose borrowers have also moved from availing loans from unregulated lenders to regulated layers like bank and bfc and peer to peer lending platform many potential home buyers are now questioning owners of house rather Other than renting a house, moreover, an increasing number of women in realizing the importance of being financially independent and are setting off a journey to achieving it. The younger generation are actively participating in stock market to earn passive income, and senior citizens striving for a financially self-dependent in their sunset years rather than relying on their children. Here is the come the best quote regarding this: that is, your children are not your retirement plan, and as a child, your parents are not your em. emergency fund so let's understand what are the five must do's to achieve financial independence as we celebrate 75th independence day this year let's start the journey the first one is to listen to your inner voice first thing first independence doesn't come easy you have to fight the oppressor in this case that's your voices more often than not your mind knows that you should not be doing things which create an unnecessary burden or keep adding expenses to your pocket following a necessary expenses like following the crowd uselessly using in credit card limit mindlessly overlooking your money management flaws postponing retirement planning benefits not directing efforts toward upgrading your financial awareness these are all your mind voice that you have to avoid the second do is have an emergency fund it can be get confusing should you start investing fund first or now or you go for a emergency fund later after going for an insurance plan well that's the secondary question. your primary financial goal should be to secure yourself against unnecessary time without having have to pay for it yes we are talking about having an emergency fund in place that's what you should do first even before starting invest going by the norms saving at least 3 times all your monthly expenses can help you to float during emergency period of course you can increase this limit slowly steadily but you have to start the third important thing to do is invest with a goal in mind investing without a goal in mind is like a driving without knowledge of a destination when you have a clear goal in mind it serves as a guidance star and help you to realize your objective without stressing too much let's assume that you want to buy a car worth rupees 10 lakh in 3 years now that your goal is clear you can in a better position to ascertain the monthly investment you require to meet the goal the return that you expect and the risk you can take all this will lead to the right asset class of investment and since equity is volatile it can typically perform better in long term the objective define your goal and goal define your risk taking capacity and which will make sure to select a proper class of asset the fourth do thing we have to do is a discuss finance with your family gone are the days when the only breadwinner of a household was aware and involved in all kind of financial activities and decision with a changing societal fabric and household setting financial 
faulty are now extended to other family members too. It makes sense and keep all the members in a loop about the financial situation of a household, especially the monthly budget and loan repayment if any. A plus point is that discussing with your children will help them to learn and practical financial discipline will before they enter into your shoes or actual world. The fifth and last important do thing is ensure yourself, your books and your asset adequately. Speaking to the family, it is no brainer that you should secure your family and your family's life, health and require asset adequately. This not only lessen your family's financial burden in unwanted situation but also relieves you of any worry and stress about your folks well-being in times of a disaster. Remember, insurance is not an investment so don't mix insurance with investment. So guys, what is the bottom line over here? The objective is basically to have a financial freedom as early we can but the time required is much less if we plan it in a proper way. So let's take a step back and recall all five financial do's. First, listen your inner voice. Second, have an emergency fund established or invest with a goal in mind. Fourth, discuss your finance with your family and fifth, ensure yourself, your books and your asset adequately. So thank you guys for joining with us in this journey. If you want to read the full article about this, then the link of article is in description. This is Shubham from Monist View signing off.